guys so we just closed on our new house today it's Friday May 28th and we are in the process of moving a lot of the big stuff and the main stuff that we'll need immediately more immediately um, right now um, I don't know what's going on, but this shit hurt. I don't know how he moving, but oh, you see this right here? This is his body. Whew. I know he just in there trying to get comfortable, but when he be in there getting comfortable, it do not be comfortable for me. Anyway, we are in the process of moving over the things that we're gonna need immediately to like, you know, get us going because we're not in a major rush to move out of the condo so i figure it's best to just do an empty house tour now because the house will not be as empty in the next 30 minutes or so so i am gonna walk you through the house and i'm gonna also kind of share what the vibes might give how I want to like decorate my plans for like the situation or whatever. So as soon as he stops moving, ow, oh my gosh, this shit hurt. It don't hurt, it's, but it's very uncomfortable. It's very heavy and it's very hard. But um, see, this is just like, so this tour will include two flights of steps. So um, bear with me. But as soon as he gets situated, I'ma get up and um, and walk you through the house. Okay? Okay. Okay. I managed to get up. Let's do it. Front door. Garage, we all know what a garage looks like, so I'm not even about to do that. Coat closet, third bedroom slash office. Clearly office right now because this is all of the furniture we have right now. Um, another closet and with a shower. This is the main floor. Ooh. Well, sciatica just sparked up a little bit. We gonna get through this though. So, more than likely, I am going to wallpaper the entire power room. And I'm not mad at the light fixture. Um, 
I might change the color of it, maybe switch out the uh, the shades or whatever, but other than that, I'm not mad at the light, the light fixture. I'm not gonna go out my way to change the sink, the sink will stay, I'll just find some storage or whatever. Might change out the uh, mirror, and then nothing will happen with the toilet. The biggest change would just be completely wallpaper, and then switching out the towel holder, the toilet paper holder, and um, you know, like cosmetic stuff. But other than that, that's that's pretty much it. Because this powder room is in the kitchen, there will be no shits in here. Okay, you have to go downstairs to take a shit. Sorry, not sorry. Moving on. So here's the dining room area. We have this little nook over here. And the dining room over here. Over here, the plan is to put like a console table that will double as a bar. I have one already in storage, in storage that I'll have to like DIY a little bit. Um, so look forward to that. But console, console table that we double as a bar, we're, we're gonna have the record player here. And then this whole wall will be covered with um, records. And probably gonna put a plant in this corner, perhaps like a, um, a, a chair in this corner, like a small, um, what do you call it? Accent chair in this corner, something like that. But that's the direction that I'm thinking of. And then for over here, we'll have the dining room table, obviously the same dining room table that I've had, that we had in the condo. Um, so just the dining room table hopefully can go this way. It won't have to go this way because I envision it going this way, I think. But if not, it'll just go this way. And dining room chairs, we got two ghost chairs, and then we have a black bench that eventually, I think we're probably gonna get a different bench, but not right now. And then now that we have more space, we can get two additional chairs on the end. So not sure the configuration of the table just yet, but the table will go here, obviously. And then the same dining room rug that I had, that we had will go here. Um, definitely gonna change out the light, the light fixture. So for the kitchen, okay. So when we got this house, this community is was not like overly customizable. So basically you choose between two different uh, floor plans and then the all the finishes and fixtures and everything has already been chosen for you. So this house was not customized, which I'm not mad about because that gives me, first of all, when you customize it, your starting price is one thing, but your finishing price is completely different. <laughs> So I like, I like the fact that like what you see is literally what you get. Um, in addition to the fact that I'm a pretty hands-on person, um, so I wanted to be able to put my own little touches on it anyway. So I wasn't mad at the fact, at the fact that everything was chosen for me because it's like, I can go in, we can go in and make it our own. So the plan is to paint the cabinets I'm not sure, we're not sure what color yet, but the cabinets will be painted. And the hardware will be changed out to, a, to better complement whatever cabinets we decide. Definitely wanna change the faucet. And originally I was gonna change the pendant, light, pendant lights, but I'm not really mad at the pendant lights. So instead of changing the pendant lights, Probably gonna take them down, spray paint, spray paint them black because the the kitchen, whatever whatever color we paint the kitchen, more than likely, all of the accents are gonna be black, black, um, 
knobs, black faucet, and so I'm gonna spray paint the pendant lights black and then change the shades to something more modern. That'll be whenever we decide what color we wanna do for the cabinets. This here is the living room. I went to Home Goods the other day, and that is actually where that plant pot is going. So there's that. On this side, we do already have a connection for the TV, HDMI connection, HDMI connection. So we're gonna get a TV console here. I want one of the ones that has like the fireplace in it because where we just left from had a fireplace and I'm not over it. So get like a full, one of the full fireplace TV console type situations here. Obviously my plant right there. Um, and we might paint this something in the background, but haven't thought it out yet. Moving on to the living area upstairs. Whew. This here is a baby boy's room. That is the pool he will be birthed in, <laughs> in, in his room, in the nursery. And this is his closet. And his bathroom. Gonna put some plants up there in the window. And he has his own linen closet, which is clutch. Probably won't do nothing too crazy in here. So the baby's room is gonna be black and white, I think. Yes, black and white. Um, we are going to birth him in here. Go up with him. We will birth him in here in his pool and then very shortly afterwards convert from a delivery room to a nursery. A um, good friend of mine is going to paint this whole wall and then we'll paint the rest of the walls. I kind of want to paint his whole entire room including the ceiling and then get a mural on his wall. So that's the plan. Um, and I have his crib picked out already. Didn't order it because we didn't have space for it. But I have his crib picked out. And I know what dresser I wanna get, but it's not in stock. So clearly there's no rush for that. But that's pretty much the, the theme for in here. And then in the bathroom, it's gonna be, um, Probably black and white, black and white, black and white and natural, neutral is pretty much being carried out from the bedroom to the bathroom. So there's that. Navigating back into the hallway. <clears throat> this is the laundry closet. Very convenient that is up here on the main living space. I mean the main living floor though. I wish it was a little bigger for us to hold laundry supplies, but we'll figure that part out. And then here is another closet for more storage. Appreciate that. I'm so out of breath. <laughs> and then the owner suite. Here's 
here's the closet. It's not really all that big, but we'll make do. Honestly, I've downsized a lot of my clothes, and I'm not even trying to have like a whole bunch of stuff. So it is what it is. I'm not mad at it. And then for this section over here, which I know is very random, there's like hvac or like something in there so um that's why it's like cut off I, it's weird i know but i'm not bad at it because i have plans now for this corner so this corner will have um a big mirror on this wall and then some shelves on this wall where i'll probably store my shoes and then probably like my jewelry or whatever, whatever these shelves will be. I'm probably gonna paint this corner a, a, a completely different color. I'm thinking like a navy blue or something like that and have the shelves the exact same color as the wall. And then put a plant in the corner, you know, a little vibe for when I wanna take a selfie or something. That's there and then drapery or whatever and then because it's so it's the bedroom is configured pretty weird and because i don't necessarily want a tv in the bedroom we're gonna do a projector so the projector will hang up here over top of the bed and then project in front of the closet so more than likely we'll just close that vent and then have the projection screen come down over top of the closet. So when we do wanna have cozy nights in the bedroom, we have an option to do that without having to have a TV. So there's that. And then the ensuite. Last but certainly not least, here we are in the ensuite of the owner's bedroom. So, this is by far, I don't know, between, see, the, the thing that's weird about this house, like the little nooks, like in the bedroom, the little nook in the dining room, it's weird, but it allows me to really tap into my creative side. So where, at first I was like, well, why the fuck would they do that? Now I'm like, because I have like ideas for them, I'm like, I can't wait to like decorate that corner or that like little nook or whatever. So I love that about this house, but I do love this bathroom. <laughs> so we have the stand up shower with the bench. I could have used that, especially, well, we're here now. I got a couple weeks left in my pregnancy. So I'll definitely, definitely appreciate that a whole lot because I be so tired taking showers um so I'm really about to get like good use out of this bench at least for the next few weeks as well as this tub I really could have the baby in this tub <laughs> um but I won't I'll be ready for pool um but I will be utilizing this tub a whole lot um something will go up here maybe paint this area or something i don't know but this will definitely be definitely be a vibe the lights will definitely be a vibe in here um probably going to paint this cabin as well and change out the knobs for sure but i actually really like the um i really really like the countertops those are fire and I'm not, again, I'm not mad at the light, the light fixture, even if we just change out the lampshade or the color. But honestly, the way it looks now, I'm not mad at it. And then we do have our own linen closet that I love. So we have a decent amount of storage space in here, honestly. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to spend a lot of time in here because I really could have used this bathroom a whole lot during my pregnancy. I would really, really appreciate having this bathroom during my pregnancy, but I have it now and I'm gonna appreciate it now and in the future.
Um, I love the floors. I didn't even notice the floor. Oh my God, these floors are so cute. So, I'm officially out of breath. I'm tired as hell. I've been tired. Um, Corey and his friend just got here with the stuff that we'll have for tonight. Um, I appreciate y'all for watching. But that concludes this empty house tour. Anything that I think of afterwards, I'll find a way to tell you or you just won't know. But stay tuned to see how we turn this house into a home, how we customize it and make it our own, ours, nigga, okay? And, um, you know, I look forward to this new journey in my life. Um, new mom, new homeowner, new blessings. I'm ready, ready for it all. So until next time,